Welcome back and in this chapter we are going to talk about one of the most important concept which is assume role. So in AWS account you create multiple roles and you assign multiple policies to those roles. But those roles are quite generic in nature. So any IAM user can assume that particular role. So in this chapter, we will focus on creating some generic role. And once we create those generic role, then we are just going to create a user so that that user can assume that role and perform some specific action associated with that particular role. But before we jump into the demo part of this assume role section, let's try to understand this example. So for this example, I am taking an user, which is a test user, which I'm just going to create when we are going to perform this demo. So this test user will be a standalone user. We will not initially going to assign any policies or any permission to that user. We are just going to simply create a standalone user. Secondly, we are just going to create a IAM role and that IAM role will have a full access to the S3 buckets. So that particular role is responsible for granting all the S3 related permission. So that's the specific uh, thing which we want to perform with that role. And remember that this user and this role initially are not related to each other. We have not assigned this role to this particular user. So this trust user exists independently and this role also exists independently. But whenever you create a role, you then you need to assign some kind of a policy with it. So role is just a name, but that role, what it can do that is governed by the policy. So in this policy document or in this policy, uh, like I am policy document, we are just going to create some policies to allow the S3 access. So this will be the role that will exist independently. And this will be the policy which will be attached to this particular role. So right now you can see there are two entity on the left hand side. This is our user, which is existing. And these, this is our role and policy. First, we have created a role and then we have attached a policy to grant S3 permission. Now the question comes like how can this user uh, which is existing independently can use this particular role to access the S3 bucket. So that's where the assume role concepts comes in. So now what we need to do, we just need to combine all these two objects. So first user as well as this role, which consists of uh, S3 policy. So what we will do, we will just use that particular user and we will assume this particular role. I'm just going to show you like how we are going to do. But once we attach this particular role to this user, then this user can assume this particular role and perform all the the related S3 related permission or S3 related actions on the S3 bucket. So once we assign this particular role to this particular test user, then that test user can assume that particular role. And once that user is able to assume that role, then he or she can perform any action which is related to the S3 bucket. So this is an example which I would I am trying to explain over here is related to a one test user. But this particular role and this policy which we have created is generic and this generic role can be assumed by any user which is present inside your AWS account. So that's why I have said initially that these roles and policies are quite generic in nature and these roles can be assumed by any user, but you need to attach those roles uh, properly to that particular user. So now we know the example. Let's jump to the AWS console and see this demo in action. All right. So this is my AWS console. And first of all, we need to create user. So just go to IAM section, uh, click on users, click on create user and just put in the name. So I'm just going to use test user over here. Click next, uh, add to user group. That's fine. We are not creating any group at the moment. Click next. And here you can see this is the username and just simply click create user. And here you can see the test user has been created. And if you click on this particular test user, then you can see there are no permission. There are no groups which we have assigned to that particular user. So this test user exists independently and this user doesn't have any kind of a permission associated with that. The next thing which we need to do, we just need to enable the AWS console access. So for that, uh, I'm just going to head over to security credential, enable the console and uh, enable. Uh, auto generated password that's fine i'm just gonna click apply and just copy this url because we need this url to uh, perform the sign in so i'm just gonna copy all this detail and i i'm just gonna copy this password also into my notepad 
and then I'm just gonna uh, close this window. So right now, as you can see, I have just created a user and I have just copied the login credential into my notepad, which we are going to use later on. But before we create uh, any role and policy, I would like to show you the test user and uh, it should get an error when it tries to access the S3 bucket because that user doesn't have any permission right now. So that's the login uh, URL which I have pasted. Then I'm just going to enter the username over here. So that is test user and then the password which I have already copied into my notepad, which is auto generated password. Click sign in. I'm just going to close this one. So here you can see this is the test user and here just type S3 over here. Click S3. And here just click on buckets. So here you can see uh, you don't have permission to list the bucket. So this user at the moment can't perform any action. So now we need to create a role. Then we are going to create a policy for that role. And then we are just going to attach that role to that particular user, which is a test user, which you can see right now over here. And once uh, that role is attached to that particular user, then this user will be able to assume that particular role. All right, so let's get back to our uh, root account where we have create where, where we need to create our IAM role and the policy. Okay, so this is my AWS console of my root account where I have created this particular test user. So I'm just gonna head over to the search bar and I'm just gonna type IAM over here. Click on IAM. Uh, go to roles over here and then create role. And here you need to be a little bit careful because you are creating a role which can be assumed by any user. So for that, what you need to do, you need to choose this option like AWS account, allow entities in other AWS account belonging to you or third party perform this action. So you need to select this option. And here you need to select the account like for which account you want to assume this role. So this is the account as you can see and this account is the same account which I am working on. So this particular account in this account if you just want to perform any action with the test user then this uh, particular role is responsible for that. So that's why I'm just assigning this particular account ID. But in case if you have a different account uh, which is different from current one then you can just use this option so that uh, this role will be applicable for other AWS account also. Anyway, I'm just going to keep the things a little bit simple over here. So I'm just going to select this one, then click next. And now, as I told you, you need to attach the policy. So if you go back to our slide over here, then here, this, uh, this is the role. And now I'm into this section where I'm attaching the policy. And here I need to attach AWS S3 full access. So here, first we have created a test user. Now we are in a process of creating role. So we have assigned the role name. Not uh, We have not yet assigned the role name, but we are in a process of creating the role. Now we are attaching the policy over here. So let's go back over here and just search for S3. So here you can see this. This is a already uh, some predefined policies created by AWS. So I'm just going to select AWS full S3 access. Click check this box. Click next. And here you need to uh, assign the role name. So here I would like to put S3 uh, full access. Uh, let's say let's put S3 full access role name. And here you can see uh, this is the trust policy which you can see over here and after that uh, you can also see the full permission uh, which is for s3 bucket and after that you can just click on create role and you can verify uh, over here just type the s3 full access and here you can see this is the role which we have created and now we are just going to assume this role. But before that, we need to assign this role to that particular user. All right. So now uh, let's take back uh, onto the slide. So here now we have the test user and now we have created the role and the policy. Now the thing is we need to assign this uh, test user this particular role. So for that, again, go back to your uh, AWS console, click on users over here and you will find the test user. Click on this particular test user. Go to add permission and now we need to create an inline policy. So click on this one. And here I'm just going to use the JSON editor because I feel this is quite good to control the policy and define your own policies and permissions. So here in the action section, uh, what you need to do here, you need to put the assume role. Uh, so I'm just going to copy this value from my notepad, which is there. So I'm just going to put over here. 
and secondly here you need to assign the resource and what is that resource so here you need to enter the ARN of your IAM role so which I can show you from here so go here go to IAM and here we have already created the role and that role is this one S3 full access uh, copy this particular ARN from here because we just wanted to assume this role so if you go back to this slide then here this is the user and now we are trying to assume this role so for that we need to attach that particular role to this particular user so here go back to the resource section and here you will attach that uh, not attach you will just put the ARN which is uh, specific to that particular role which is S3 full access all right so now we have uh, 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 assume that we have we are attaching this particular role to this particular user so once we have done it and uh, then click on next and then click on create policy and just we need to enter the policy name so we can put uh, like a s3 full access uh, policy just keep any suitable name it doesn't matter but keep a very suitable name don't just put test or xyz or hello world then click on create policy and uh, yeah so let me reiterate the one thing uh, here so here is the user here is the test user and here you can see the s3 full access policy and here you can see it will be able to assume this particular role so now we have attached that role and how we have attached it with the help of that unique ARN which is responsible for uh like a role and the policy which we have created and this arn belongs to i'm just going to open this particular role so here if you go to roles go to s3 full access then here you will see the arn of this number of this particular role so this using this arn we have attached this particular role to this particular test user now this test user will be able to assume this particular role now let's test this assume role functionality and for that what I need to do I just need to go to my test user so this is my separate window where I have already logged in as a test user which you can see on the top and here just refresh this page uh, I just like to show you that uh, first of all we don't have the permission yet because we have not assumed that role yet so right now I'm just logged in as a test user but I am I am not using the role which I have created so I have not uh, assumed that role yet so how to assume that role so for that what you need to do i'll just move this window uh, on a different uh, uh, screen so here you can see this is the role and here it gives you this particular url to switch the role so that you can assume that particular role so here uh, and again i can show you go to roles go to your s3 full access role which you have created and here you will find the link uh, which you can use to switch the role or which can help you to assume that particular role so copy this link from here and i'm just going to open that uh, separate window where i have logged in as a test user so here you can see it is a test user and i don't have the permission i can refresh you once again and you can see the error message okay now we need to assume that role so that we don't get this issue over here or we don't get this permission denied error so for that the url which i have copied i'm just gonna paste it over here remember that i am already logged in as a test user okay so i'm just gonna click enter and here you can see you need to specify the account so this is the account for which i want to assume the role and what is the name of the role which is this one so this is the account for which I just wanted to assume that particular role. So be careful about it and display name. Uh, it is not mandatory, but you can keep anything of your choice. So I'm just going to skip this one and then click on switch role. And as soon as you switch the role over here, then on the top, you will notice that that role is highlighted. So here you can see in the color like S3 full access. Uh, if it is too small, then probably I will increase the size. So here you can see on the top S3 full access. So now that test user is able to assume that role and now that uh, test user is using that particular role. So now you can see it is it is using that particular role. So just go on S3. I have already visited. So I'm just going to click over here and go to buckets. And here you can see the error is gone. 
So this way, like you have created a role and now this test user is able to assume that particular role and that role grants the S3 access. So now you can see that particular user is able to perform the S3 list action so that he can view the uh, all the buckets, although this is empty, but that error message is gone. But with the help of this role, now you, this test user will be able to perform any action, whether it's a create bucket, list bucket or upload any item to the uh, s3 bucket so that's the simple example i just wanted to take uh, on how to assume the roles all right so now the next question comes like since you have assumed that particular role then how can i switch back to my original state of this test user so here it's quite simple uh, from the aws console only you need to click on this drop down and here you just need to click on switch back and once you click on switch back, then you will see that the role which the user has assumed has gone. And now you cannot see that particular role and that role is not active at all. And if you go to this particular bucket and then you will see the same error. So this is how this generic roles comes into picture. And that's the way you should use those roles if you have if you are creating those generic roles. So create a role, attach some policy and then uh, attach that role to that particular user so that that uh, role can be assumed and that role can be used for different different users all right so now we have learned about the assume role so just i just wanted to clean the date uh, like the uh, roles and the users which i have created so first of all i'm just gonna log out from this one because i just wanted to delete this user so i'm just gonna close this window i'm just gonna go back to my root user so here i'm just gonna click on roles go to s3 full access and uh, delete this one just type this s3 access uh, there is a space uh, delete now the role has been deleted go to users uh, select this test user and i think we can just simply uh, delete this user so just click on this one and click on this delete test user i want to delete and delete user okay so now i have cleaned my aws account so that whatever test scenario i have created now those are gone so i hope this chapter will help you to understand this concept of assume role 